Thanks for tuning into Shaw Arts and Entertainment, and what a day on Shaw Arts and Entertainment. It's going to be joining me, one of the members of In Flight Safety, right here at Louis. This is Dan Ledwell. Dan, how are you doing? How are you enjoying Saskatoon? Uh, very well. Uh, we've been here only really about half an hour, so so far it's been really good. The campus is nice, and there's lots of snow, which is new for us. Awesome. Now, of course, Louis is keeping the tradition of bringing bands that are in the process of breaking through to the mainstream, and uh, that pretty much sums up you guys. Talk a little bit about the band. Uh, yeah, well, the, I mean, the band has been going for a few years, and recently we've had quite a bit of luck uh, with, yep. like you said, much music, I guess, is the, the mainstream. So uh, we've got a new video out, Coast is Clear, and it's, it's in high rotation right now, which is, I think it's the only independent video to be in high rotation in a while. So it's, yeah, we've been having great luck. Yeah. Talk about the genesis of In Flight Safety and the other members who are not yeah, present. They're, they're back there hiding in, in, in a room with a star on the door. Which I find funny. Um, well, well, we come said, on, a name like a, a name like Ledwell, that is uh, rock and roll. Yeah, you really don't. You're not going to be a butler with a last name like Ledwell. You got to be. You got to be rock and roll. Yeah, I, I guess so. I'll, I'll tell the other members of my family that. Um, no, but uh, yeah, we started. We all met at university in New Brunswick, Sackville, New Brunswick, which is very, very far away from Saskatoon. But uh, yeah, very, very small town. Like two. Like a, the school had about 2,000 students. And just a very small community, and we kind of, you know, all met and liked the same bands, interested in the same things, and eventually started playing music together and moved to Halifax, a bit bigger of a center, and yeah, just kind of have kept playing and had a lot of luck and met a lot of nice folks like M. Griner, who've helped us out a great, great deal, and yeah, we just keep plugging away. It's a cool Those people who haven't watched much music for more than half an hour, explain the sound. Uh, well, it's we, we like to think it's a big sound. It's a kind of uh, ambient and cinematic, and the songs tend to grow quite a bit. And you know, a lot of keyboards, which not you know, they're heavy and hard to lug around, so a lot of bands don't use them. And so, a lot of keyboards, a lot of like big uh, you know, reverb guitar. Glenn pounds away on the drums pretty much as hard as he can. He's a PEI farm boy, so he's got big arms and. He hits him. He hits him hard. So it's a big, you know, big sound. Yeah. Right in the middle of a tour. Talk a little bit about where you've been and where you guys are heading next. Uh, this has been a big one. Um, we started in London, England, this tour about what's the date today? About a month and a half ago, and then we were in Ireland for two weeks, and we flew home. We're home for a night in our own beds. Got up and loaded the van early the next morning and drove overnight to our first show. And we've been coming across Canada since, I mean, we came back into Canada about late October and we're still heading west from Saskatoon, so we have a lot of uh, BC shows and then we head all the way back home and do a, an East Coast, finish it with an East Coast run. And so we're home December, early December sometime. So. And now, five minutes ago when I was backstage fighting through the security guards, I passed the <laughs> retina test and, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. the full uh, examination. I got to go into the room with the star on, as yeah, you talked about yeah. before. And the first thing I saw, you were deep into a map. What are you looking for? Uh, I actually have that right here. Uh, I was looking for Fernie, B.C. because oh, okay. we're playing there soon. And uh, I, I found it once before, but I kind of forgot. I wanted to see because we have to drive from Fernie to St. John, New Brunswick in four days, which is pretty much exactly how long it takes. So it'll be a few over, like it's about 60 some hours of driving. So we're, uh, I was just, you know, getting ready for that. And yeah, so we're we're back there, just you know, killing, killing time before sound check, doing the usual map reading, and you know, party, party, party. Uh, well, we've all seen the video, and bits of it are obviously playing over yes. top of this interview, which you won't be able to tell. But the people at the home are digging it right now. What can people expect from a live show from you guys? Uh, it's a, it's a bit more rock than the than the album is. You know, things are a bit. We pick up the pace a little bit, and you know, it's a bit more raw. You can't can't always have little glockenspiels and stuff so you know there's a bit more bit more juice there and a bit more oomph and yeah I think like like I said a lot of keyboards and big guitars which I think like kind of beef up the sound and you know a lot like the album but it's not hard to capture on the album sometimes and in the mix kind of you know Glenn can be pounding away on the drums but if you don't have it turned down in the mix a little bit it uh, you know it can, it can get lost so you never know with those microphones you're micing stuff up it's, they don't capture the right sound sometimes uh, lastly other than saskatoon saskatchewan which is obviously going to top the list yeah. what is uh the best moment of the tour so far 
Best moment of the t well, I think I'd have to say that the show in Dublin we played uh, the hardworking class heroes and it was uh, it was a huge you know huge stage outside and we opened for uh, Peaches played after us and it, it was a really good time and then. I think the second of that, the Canadian Lake, I think Thunder Bay was the biggest surprise. It was wild, it was cold, and there was a bunch of people that showed up. So, And it's Thunder Bay. I love Thunder Bay. It's amazing.